All right, hey gang, so first tractor review on the new workbench. So this is uh, it's gonna be a work in progress and uh, obviously I have to change some things. If uh, this doesn't work well, I will, um, you know, we'll, we'll figure some stuff out here, uh, especially with the lighting situation. It's a, it's a little odd down here. I've gotta do some wiring and things of that nature. So, uh, but anyway, I got my hands on one of these down on the farm from Greenlight Toys. Uh, 1974 tractor with cab, also known uh, to us tractor people as a Minneapolis Moline 1355, which is one of my all-time favorite muscle tractors. So we're going to unbox this sucker, and then we are going to take it out of the package and, uh, you know, roll it around. Give it the give it the what for. Let's take a look at this package real quick. So obviously no licensing, and this says it's a limited edition. Um, but yeah, I don't care. This thing's coming out, and we... Are going to customize it so all right so there you go um, there's just a little reading and such on the back there so I'm gonna pause this real quick and open this package up because this is one of these stupid plastic packages that you can practically cut yourself open with and it seems wasteful and terrible for the environment and all that sort of thing I don't know why this is a thing but it's just annoying. They're hard to open. Like I said, I, I don't like to use plastic if I don't have to. I like to use reusable things. And, um, you know, whatever. But we're going to open this puppy up and see what happens. All right, so here it is. A um, couple first impressions right offhand. Nice duels. Love the rims. Those are sweet. I mean... So really nice white in there, the yellow center cap, and then I don't know if it's it's showing up on the camera very well. Check out like that silver lip that just goes around the very outside of those rims. That's cool. The tires look great too. Um, they're they're you know they're a hard rubber, hard plastic I guess. <laughs> Maybe a soft plastic or a hard rubber. I don't know, but you know they are what they are. The second thing I noticed on this tractor is the paint's not that great. Um, the there especially around the engine you can definitely see through some of the paint now i mean it's all painted it's there but it's just not perfect um but to be fair this is a five dollar tractor so it wouldn't be probably i mean i get it should be don't get me wrong but and and that's what's sad about in this day and age you, you expect something cheap to suck right but this doesn't suck but it could be better anyway moving on the grill is great. I do like that. It needs a decal, though, for sure. It, you know, and of course, these would have this big white side decal down here, and it would say 1355 right there, and Minneapolis Moline down the big white portion of that decal. So um, we're gonna make that happen. <laughs> uh, I guess there's there's some guys doing some decals, and I think you can get them on bows and implement as well. So anyway, pretty excited about that. So the next thing I noticed, kind of right offhand, is these steps are crooked. See that? They're bent, for sure. So I don't know if that's a separate piece. I assume it is, because I'm not sure how they would cast that in. So I feel like, and I'm trying to just do it here, but I feel like there's a way to straighten that out. Maybe with some needle nose pliers or something like that. I'll get it figured out. Not too much, not too troubling. So, uh, kind of little skinny front tires, and uh, I saw my buddy Jeff Norton, he put some front wheel assist on one of these. Ooh, boy, did that look awesome. <laughs> and I think he used my front end, so uh, you know, big thanks to that. Um, so yeah, I'll probably I'll probably put some front wheel assist on there because the, it just looks so cool. But you know, if you're gonna leave it two wheel drive, it's really nicely detailed. I mean, I love the the way they do their their front axle and steering rack and all that sort of thing under there. I mean, Greenlight's got that thing down. It looks great. They, I mean, they really did a fantastic job on that. You know, the front wheels and tires, they're fine, but uh, yeah, they could be better. <laughs> they're, but they're all right. There's some bolt detail in there and all that stuff. I mean, that's pretty typical of a uh, 60s, 70s tractor. Don't get me wrong. I don't think they did anything wrong there. It's just uh, it wouldn't be my personal preference. Um, we've got a nice air cleaner here. That could use some little detail painting as, as well. And then a uh, yeah, pretty nice-looking muffler, I guess. Um, I don't know. I might straight pipe this puppy. We'll see. We'll see once I get it tore into. So here's one thing. I mean, the, the green light is doing so well. And I'm sorry. Like I said, this is awkward. This is my first review on this new workbench. So I'll get this figured out, guys. I promise. But um, the alternator and, I don't know, I guess battery or 
and you know whatever starter possibly I'm not sure yeah I guess it wouldn't be the battery but um, you know whatever that is they they painted those that looks great I think I mean it's really nicely done and then they are also really great about you know cab lights are painted up nice they've got the black surround with the uh, silver and same thing with the windshield wiper there so that's really nicely done if we come over to the side we've got you know these little details here the flashers and these uh, I don't know vents or whatever the heck those are <laughs> and then all around the windows that weather stripping is also painted black so excellent job there and then of course back here we've got our reds definitely need an SMV decal huh that's easily done and then like what really strikes me I mean like holy crap this is cool check out how detailed that rear end is right like okay so the three-point hitch doesn't go up or down you know but that you know you can you can fix that for sure but check out the the, the PTO detail the draw bar uh, detail back there you've got you know I think I see some hydraulic hooks up, hookups and all that sort of thing and this is a five dollar tractor so in my opinion this this, plus all the lights that are painted up and everything, kind of make up for the slightly janky paint. That's just my opinion. Now, of course, it's not an officially licensed product, I guess, so we don't get the decals and all that sort of thing. So you have to do that on your own. But, you know, for a couple bucks, sort of at the usual decal places, Bozen, uh, some of the other guys, I'm, I probably won't mention them publicly because they may not want me to, <laughs> um, licensing reasons. But, anyway, my point being is, this is a pretty sweet little tractor right here. I think so, anyway. Um, for five bucks, I mean, holy cow, can't go wrong. You can't get much for five bucks these days, right? Especially in the farm toy world. But you can get a green green light tractor. It's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a rake going to. That's why I feel like these need to be bigger. But that's all I'd do to it, I think. So anyway, down the road, you'll definitely see a custom one of these because I'm gonna do that for sure. So okay, guys, I'll catch you later. As always, I sure appreciate you watching. Please do that like, share, subscribe thing. And uh, happy tractor hunting. Treat each other well. Have yourselves a great day.